Guadeloupe, Slave Rebellion of Trois Rivières, 1793. The Slave Rebellion of Trois Rivières illustrates the tenuous yet strategic position of the free Blacks in Martinique, Guadeloupe, and Haiti, or Lesser Antilles, also known as the Jean de Couleur. This group was basically heterogeneous. Some were very rich. That led to their alliances with white planters, and others were poor farmers. This conundrum is going to play out in many ways that will ultimately lead to the abolition of slavery. The French Revolution opened the question of the equal status of free Blacks. Some political forces wanted the Jean de Couleur to be equal because they were a major force in suppressing slave revolts. However, that designation threatened the hierarchy of white domination and superiority. The Jean de Couleur would form different alliances based on what they viewed as advantageous to themselves, leading the enslaved into supporting their campaigns under the pretense of being pro-abolitionists. Some were, some weren't. This battle involved thousands of slaves, led by those who declared themselves citizens. When met by the French, they proclaimed they had killed masters who had tried to arm themselves against the Patriots and forcibly integrated themselves into the Republic. They were then left alone to continue their armed campaigns. 